What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm going to be doing analysis on OGI stock. First of all, brief summary about this company. Uh, Organic Graham Holdings engages in the production and sale of medical marijuana. It focuses on producting cannabis for patients and adult rec recreational consumers. The firm's brands include adult recreational and medical. And here is uh, their two brands, adult recreational and medical. And under uh, recreational they have uh, three sub-brands. And uh, we are on their website, as you can see. It is very detailed. Uh, you can uh, see their management team, their board of directors, uh, all the investors information, etc. Et here is uh, the institutional owners of Organigram Holdings. And uh, as you can see here, the latest information dated of uh, February the 12th. And as you can see, many investors are buying. So uh, you can see Vanguard Group uh, just bought 44%. They add 44% to their stake. And uh, you can see all over the 12th, of February, uh, you can see all the green lies, lines. This, this means that uh, these uh, investors are buying this stock. And uh, the main reason why we are uh, looking at this uh, stock is uh, Reddit users. For now, you have to Google whether the stock is on uh, Reddit community, is on Reddit threads or not. And it is very important. As you can see, uh, it is a OGI uh, search results, and uh, there are so many, so many results, but they are not so popular. Nevertheless, uh, we can see that uh, on uh, Google we have uh, so many results that uh, this stock was pushed up by uh, Reddit communities, and that's why we have this huge surge in price of uh, 260% almost, almost. and uh, here is a 40 minute chart. But before we dive deep uh, into the technical analysis, please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. In this case, you won't miss my next video. So we are on 40 minute chart and uh, let me give you a brief uh, summary with this movement. So, we have clear waves and uh, a, a little bit later I will show you my Elliott wave breakdown. But for now I am interested in this formation. It is a bearish divergence. As you can see we have a lower high on RSI with the higher high on the price movement. And it is a clear, clear bearish divergence. On the 40, 45 minutes uh, time frame we have the same picture, exactly the same. And uh, on our MACD indicator, we have, uh, we don't have any uh, bullish signs. Uh, each and every next hill is lower than the previous one. As you can see, we have declining momentum. And it is also uh, indicated that uh, this asset is losing momentum and uh, eventually it will go down. So for now, uh, one hour chart. We have the same, absolutely the same situation. And let me show you one more thing, one more technical thing uh, if uh, you want to be a successful trader. So, here you can define the clear, clear support. And here is the point where RSI broke this support. And uh, if you want to invest in uh, this type of stocks and uh, it's barely uh, goes up and up and up and uh, you have to define the moment when you can move out from this trade. And here is the point. As you can see, uh, this one on a one hour chart we broke this support. And here we have it's ticking to the downside. So we have negative momentum. And this is the point when you can go out from this trade. It's not uh, the best, uh, it is not the top. Uh, because of uh, the lagging of these two indicators. They all a little bit outdated, depending on their uh, time frames. But nevertheless, here is the point where, where you can go out from this trade and uh, take your loss, maybe if you enter here, or take your profit if you enter somewhere here. And 
here is to our chart we have the same the same situation with bearish divergence and uh, on uh, three hour chart we don't have any divergence but uh, we have uh, almost triple top it is the situation well when the next possible movement is uh, to go down well for now let me show you one more thing let me clean a little bit this chart i don't need this one and this one here is my elliot wave breakdown so uh, it's better to see on a one hour chart here is my breakdown this is the middle wave and uh, i define it uh, as a, as a third wave on the main movement and here is greater scale so this is the third wave and it is in the middle so this is the first one third fourth retracement and fifth one and we have a little bit higher situation here is it the next bigger uh, scale no in my opinion we have the retracement and uh, this is how it's happened usually point b is lower than point zero to uh, our retracement but it happens when we have some hype around this asset or some uh, huge huge uh, uh, interest to this stock and uh, we have three waves in a wave three waves in a we in a b wave and five waves in a c wave so in my opinion this is the end of uh, this retracement from this point and as long as i define it let me show you this fibonacci tool it is a fibonacci retracement and as you can see here i took from the top of uh, the wave not from the very top but from this point and uh, here is the beginning of uh, this movement as you can see we are here i can even make it here so and uh, we've uh, almost hit the 0.786 region and now we're bounced back and hovering right around uh, 0.65 here is the 12th of february and uh, you, as you can see they are buying now all institutionals are buying what should we do for now it is very simple it is very simple but it's very risky as uh, always uh, with the stocks uh, on reddit threads uh, you have to stick three rules do not put the money that you are not willing to lose it's obvious the second one do not go all in always laddering down your buys always and the third one do not put stop loss close to your enterprise it is all because the volatility if the stock uh, goes down heavily and then uh, bounce back to the upside if uh, it hits your stop loss then you will be kicked off from the trade and you want to be profitable but you cannot you you just take your losses and uh, here is my setup i think uh, if you want to try to catch some uh, bottom of this uh, stock you can ladder your buys down from the opening hours and uh, your possible stop loss will be somewhere here so if we break this level i will mark it as a red line if we break this level it is very likely that we go we will go down even further and uh, next support will be at uh, 2.46 region so uh, it is just my opinion and uh, it is very risky as usual and uh, here is uh, your percentage of potential stop loss you can lose almost 20 percent and uh, let me define possible targets I take a Fibonacci retracement tool and pull it from the very top because we have the C wave it's uh, labeled from the top and here is the levels 
it is the most uh, obvious level that we will hit it uh, 0.236 and we've already hit it as you can see and uh, it might be some concerns that we can go down but in my opinion we can hit even uh, 0.382 region so around five dollars mark and here we have another support slash resistance we have two points here and here we bounce back from it and uh, next point maybe 0.5 but i don't think we will go so high that's why uh, it is your trade just ladder your buys down until the three around three dollars mark if you if we go down just uh, take your stop loss and if you go up you will have uh, somewhere around wait a second you will have somewhere around maybe 30 or 40 percent with that being said please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button in this case you won't miss my next video see you guys and girls bye